guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Sportster. This will be my first actual video. Today, we will be talking about the incredible legacy of Barry Bonds. First, let's look at his incredible 2004 season. Take it over to Bonds' 2004 season was preposterous, becoming the only player to get an over 600 OBP. Easily getting the best OBP in history, beating out some of the greatest hitters of all time, including Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig, and Babe Ruth. And he became one of the only players to get in over 1.250 OPS. Also incredibly preposterous. And I don't care how much you say, he's on steroids. He's on steroids. He was incredible, even off steroids. It blows everyone's mind that's in 2004. Even his batting average was incredible. He had a better OPS than his 2001 season, that he hit a major league record 73 home runs. He was just incredible that year, and there was no stopping him in the batter's box. 2002 and 2003 seasons were the seasons that he controlled the plate like none other before him or after. He controlled the plate like maybe a robot. He, in, especially in his 2002 and 2003 seasons, in 2002, he batted a, yes, preposterous 370 at the plate. And in 2003, he still batted 341. And, I mean, for Barry Bonds, you might call that a bad season. That's how good he is at baseball. You couldn't stop him. He had his OBP literally out of this world. And every season he played, not just that four-year stretch between 01 and 04. But when he started in 86, to when he ends in 08, his batting average might go like this. It literally skyrocketed. And there's nothing more I can say about that than... He's probably the best baseball player of all time. I mean, pitchers couldn't do anything. There's a reason why he got intentionally walking the bases loaded. There's a reason why he hit 73 home runs. There's a reason why he could almost bat 400 in a full season. It's not like Charlie Blackman batting 560 20 games through the season. He's batting... In 162 straight games, and he's batting 370. This is how good he is at the plate. He is, yes, preposterous. That's why every single person was scared of him. I mean, the Diamondbacks won the game when they intentionally walked him with the bases loaded. Sometimes... They won the game. The Padres won the game when he almost had 764. He almost was even bigger than preposterous. He is Babe Ruth plus Ted Williams. It was very much. This is how good he is at baseball. No one can stop him. Like, what can I say? Lastly, we're going to talk about what happened before the 2001 season and after that 2004 season. When he came to the league, drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1986, he came in as one of the fastest guys in baseball. He didn't strike out much at all. There was only one season in his entire career that he struck out more than 100 times. He also could steal lots of bases walked a lot. He was a big threat to hit maybe 20, 30 home runs, and he was a really fast, big power speed guy. You can compare early Barry Bonds to early Ronald Coon. Maybe how Ronald Coon is looking, he's on the same track as Barry Bonds was when he first came into the league. You don't know, maybe Ronald Coon could be the next Barry Bonds. Maybe he could get 765 home runs. But anyway, in those years, and like early 90s, and 91, he got his first 293, sorry, 
And he got his first 200 plus OPS plus season with a 204. Wow. And a 206 the next year. And flatlined a little bit. And then, of course, in 02 and 04, and 01 and 03, he did incredible. And then after that, well, I mean, he was just popping. Even as a early 40 year old, like 43, this was his last year. He still did incredible. He still hit 20 home runs. He even still got bases. Very last out bat. He barely missed 7 6 4. I mean, maybe towards the start and end of the career, they weren't that scared of him. But they didn't know it was coming. They didn't know it. In 1989, early 90s, he was just maybe getting Rookie of the Year in 86, maybe getting MVP. I mean, they were already scared of him, but they didn't know he was going to become the best hitter of all time, at least in my opinion. They didn't know he was going to be a pretty good right fielder, left fielder, center fielder, whatever you wanted him to play. They didn't know any of that stuff. That's how Barry Bonds became Barry Bonds. Nobody knew, and then he popped off. That's why he has the, incre the incredible intentional walk record. He's got double of the next player, Willie McCovey, Albert Pujols, those guys back when they were on their prime. They couldn't stop him to save their lives. Barry Bonds was incredible his entire career. He would never stop. This is Flix YT sponsoring the video. The same guy I shouted out in my first video. Please go subscribe to him. Hit the noti bell. He's filming right at this moment. He might come out when I when this thing finishes and it's out. But I recommend you very well to like. Subscribe and hit the noti bell. I guess I owe him five bucks now because he sponsored me. And as always, Cubs hat, gold shirt. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!